Hello and welcome to Visa Port Educational Videos by Ahsan Ahmed. Today we are doing O Level Physics and the course code is 5054 and our topic is pressure. That is topic number 7 and this is video of part 3 of the series of 5 lessons. These are the learning outcomes or learning objectives given by CIE under the topic of pressure from learning objective A to I. In today's lesson, we will be looking at two learning outcomes, E and F. So the first one we will be discussing is E, which says recall and use the equation for hydrostatic pressure, which is P is equals to rho GH. So hydrostatic pressure, or in other words, pressure through liquids, is that the pressure in still liquid depends upon three factors. Three factors ke upar pressure depend karta hai agar hamare paas still liquid hai. And that is density, gravity, and depth. In part two, we have discussed in detail. Here, I would just like to discuss quickly or review quickly about the height factor because this is slightly trickier as compared to density and gravity. So we have this column where we have stored water and we have given it three outlets. As you can see, the deeper the water is, the higher the pressure is. So if we say that we have density, gravity and depth uh, are three important factors. Uh, which affect the pressure in still liquid so we can write our equation as pressure is equals to rho gh now once we have reviewed this equation uh, this is the very same equation which we're going to use uh, for the understanding of our next learning objective now we will be looking at learning objective f which says describe the use of a manometer in the measurement of pressure difference. Let's have a look. So here we will be discussing about manometer and remember manometer is used for um, to finding out or for the measurement of the pressure of specific gas enclosed in a cylinder. So first of all uh, the equipment we will be using here is uh, there is a u-shaped tube uh, which is open from both the ends and it is filled with mercury and um, yes it's u shaped shape to me up the cranky dono sides open him filled with mercury hai. and at one end you can see that there's atmospheric pressure getting applied at one end and the same is happening at the other end the so, dono sides the same atmospheric pressure apply over hai. and that is why the level of liquid is same there is no difference between level of liquid because the both sides are getting same amount of pressure since atmospheric pressure is constant value. And here uh, we have enclosed a gas in, in, a, in a circular shaped cylinder, in a round cylinder and uh, we, have, we have kind of trapped it here. The green molecules here which you can see are, are representing the gas molecules. So once we connect, once we connect our gas cylinder, this round shaped cylinder uh, to the U shaped tube, you can see that these gas molecules, let me quickly select my the pointer and then I'll be pointed out. So yes, these molecules now, you can see that they are spreading out. They are spreading out and once they start spreading out, they will apply pressure on the mercury like this. So when they will apply pressure on the mercury, they will push the mercury down from one end. As a result, the mercury will move at the other end. Here we can see now if at one end it is going down, obviously at the other end it is rising up so one end going down and so other end rising up. if you look at this the difference between these two levels now these two level difference can be measured as as height the edge 
the difference between those two levels. So if we solve our value, so if we take out the difference between 0 0.09 meters, which is the upper portion or the upper height, and the 0 0.04, which is the lower limit. So if we take difference between these two, we will get height is equals to, or the difference of height is equals to 0 0.05 meters. Remember, there's a note at the end, at the bottom of the screen, if you, if you, at the bottom right of the screen, I've just underlined this, this note here. This says that this height should be calculated in meters since it is SI unit. Uh, your ruler or your U-shaped tube can be marked as in millimeters, in centimeters, in decimeters, or in meters. So obviously we have to eventually get our value into meters since meter is the SI unit of, of the height or of the length or of the distance. So this is what our practice should be uh, if you want to get our answers in correct manner. So now let's solve this value, how we will get the pressure of this gas. So let's have a look. So if we are to find out the pressure of the gas, the equation is rho gh, which is density, gravity, and height, plus atmospheric pressure. Now, now this is, is the very tricky part, which most of the students fail to comprehend at first attempt. And that is where I need to spend some more time with you guys as well. So the first thing is rho gh. This part is quite simple because in part 2, if you have followed my part 2 video, you must have seen that how uh, the liquid column in terms of rho gh gives us the value of, of the pressure. But, but, why we are adding this extra atmospheric pressure which is getting represented by this, this p naught or p0. It is because if you see here, um, although at, at this end, at this end, we connected, when we connected our cylinder here, we kind of stopped the atmospheric pressure affecting this side. But here, the end was always open. The end was, this end was always open and atmospheric pressure was being applied here all the time since atmospheric pressure was being applied here um, we can see that it would stop this liquid rising further up which would be equivalent to the same value which we have of atmospheric pressure yani ke ye atmospheric pressure hamesha se yahan par maujood tha aur imagine kare agar ye atmospheric pressure yahan par na hota अगर हमारे पास यहाँ पर कुछ भी ना होता, कोई भी प्रेशर यहाँ पर एक्सर्ट ना कर रहा होता, तो ऑब्वियसली ये जो लिक्विड है इस पॉइंट पे ये जो मर्करी है, ये और ज़्यादा राइज होता। और अगर अगर ये लिक्विड हमारे पास ज़्यादा राइज होता, तो हमारे पास दोनों हाइट के दरमियान डिफरेंस भी ज़्यादा होता। और अगर हम उस in here as as our h so obviously the pressure of gas would be different and that is why to compensate all this uh, situation uh, the very simple idea we have is in mathematics that whatever is present there at the first place we just simply add it into our equation to get the real pressure of the gas and that is how this equation is all settled in. So now if we just simply apply the values in, so we know that the density of the mercury is 13,600, the gravity value is 10, and the height we have calculated here is 0 0.05 meters. Here is the height which we calculated, and we are using it, the same value plus p naught p naught obviously this p naught here this p naught here is representing the the atmospheric pressure 
So if we solve this, we get 6800 Newton per meter square plus atmospheric pressure. Now, if we add the round off value of atmospheric pressure, which would seem a little bit odd, but just for the simple answer, I've done this uh, because here someone might say that here, that here we are saying that the atmospheric pressure is 101300 and here I have applied atmospheric pressure as 100,000 Pascal. So remember, this is what we discussed earlier in part two, that in CI syllabus for the simplification of the values, we can use this round of, of figure. So that's what we are doing right now. So if you just add these two values, and um, I think there's no need to explain that how this Newton per meter square got into Pascal's. Yeah, this is all in pressure part one lesson. So if we add just these two simple values, 6800 plus 100,000, we get 106,800 Pascal's, the pressure of the gas. Now there's one more tricky part here which we need to understand and that will come in our next slide. Now, in past paper questions, they sometimes express the pressure of the gas, which we have just calculated earlier, in two different ways as well, in, in two different ways. So um, what those ways are, let's, let's have a look. So the first one is that the pressure of the gas can be expressed as in terms of height in terms of height and they use these words like above or excluding atmospheric pressure so if for the same experiment which we have done um, in the previous slide we would use our answer as or the correct answer will be that the pressure of gas is 0 0.05 meter above or excluding atmospheric pressure that is one way to express the same thing which we have done in the earlier or the previous slide or we can say that the pressure of gas is equals to rho gh and the same part again rho gh above or excluding atmospheric pressure and we have calculated rho gh in the previous slide so that would be 6800 pascals above or excluding atmospheric pressure so this is exactly same thing what we have done in the previous slide but just these are some other ways or two extra ways to express the pressure of gas uh, slightly tricky so I thought I might share this as well um, that's it for for this video I hope it was useful in the end I would like to give credit for the royalty free images I have used there was only one image by the way by Najul Sultan under ccby-sa4.0 and that was from www.commons.wikimedia.org do subscribe our channel I hope you enjoyed this this video or most of the part you must have understood this concept if not you can comment and ask questions anytime and do spread the word so more and more people can learn from it thank you very much have a wonderful day bye